Uh, so I want to today uh, look out a little bit towards the, the, the future here in, uh, in data. Um, uh, so, so Hadoop um, has been around now for, you know, eight years or so. Um, and it, it really helped to launch this, this revolution that we're seeing, that, that, uh, that we're all, all talking about here at this conference, um, uh, in, in a new way of, of uh, managing data, processing data, um, uh, built on a platform of open source software, using commodity hardware, um, new style of computing where you, you bring the uh, computation to the data, um, uh, and also just a, a, a plethora of, of um, new, new applications. I mean, we, we're really seeing now that this, this uh, revolution is, is leading us into, into a new era. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, with, where we're, we're breaking down the, the old silos uh, that we used to have, um, uh, no, longer, no longer building new silos, certainly, um, uh, and starting to um, uh, use what we, we call the enterprise data hub uh, model, where we're, we're bringing our data into one location uh, and able to apply a, a variety of tools to it. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it really is opening up lots of possibilities um, uh, in industry after industry, and you've, you've all been hearing talks about this. Um, but it, it, it's time, I think, for us to reflect as we, as we enter this new data age um, uh, in how we want it to work. Uh, the, this is the time, I think, when the, the policies and, and practices that we establish um, uh, will be set um, uh, and become relatively fixed in, in the coming decades. Um, and so I think, I think it's, a, it's a, an opportunity to think carefully um, about how we want to manage data. Uh, and I'm not, not primarily talking technically, I'm talking more, more socially. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, science fiction that, that I see, uh, you know, most, most books and, and films about the future. Uh, the people who collect the data are the, the bad guys. And I, I don't want to be one of those bad guys. And I hope most of you don't as well. Uh, at the same time, as I think there's a lot of value to be had in collecting data. So the, the, the trick is how can we um, uh, use, our, use our power, use this powers for good? Um, how can we um, uh, collect data um, and um, uh, improve uh, the, the, the lives of people um, uh, and not, not do harm? Uh, so some examples of, of the kind of improvements that I think um, uh, are, are made possible and that are needed, that we, that we, we, we very much value our, our things like in education. Um, uh, you know, we, as, as the uh, economy changes and uh, becomes uh, more based on IT, uh, we need uh, more educated people in, in, in the workforce. Um, uh, we need, uh, and this is an ongoing, this is gonna be an ongoing process. Um, uh, we, need, we need more people who are better and better educated, which means we need a better and better educational system. And as we, we all know, a great way to improve systems is to collect data uh, about them and, and how they're operating. But if you're collecting data about students, there's some risk that that data could be abused. Uh, and so we, we want to be able to collect this data so that we can, we can get the value from it, but we don't want it to be abused. Uh, and so, so how, can we, how can we do this? Another example, um, uh, in healthcare, similarly, we're, we're living longer than ever, um, uh, happier, healthier lives, um, and we, we hope that will continue. We'll continue to make advances in healthcare um, and also to uh, make healthcare more affordable so that we can give better quality care to more people. Um, and again, the way we're going to fuel improvements is by measuring and studying what we're doing, what's been effective, what hasn't been effective. Uh, and uh, I, once again, this is often very personal data um, uh, about people's lives, um, uh, which we, we have to gather. Um, uh, in order to make improvements. Um, uh, and, but we, we hope we can, we can trust those uh, who've gathered it. Um, uh, last example is, is, uh, is climate. Um, uh, by all appearances, the, the climate is changing uh, and our energy consumption is, uh, uh, again, widely received to be the, 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 the dominant uh, cause of this. And, uh, you, you know, we, we need to use less energy. We need to understand how to do that, um, and once again, a data about our personal habits is something that can fuel our improvement in this area. Uh, so how do we go about 
uh, building trust in these institutions that collect data um, uh, that, that many of us um, are or will be a part of. Um, some people think that it's a, it's a technological problem, uh, that with, you know, with the right security measures, um, uh, the right access controls, um, we can, we can you know, guarantee uh, that, that data is not abused. I, I, I don't believe that. I think it's really hard to build foolproof security systems. Um, uh, technology is a tool that we can use, um, uh, but, but it's, not, it's not a panacea here. Um, uh, what I think are, are some of the keys um, are uh, things like transparency. I think this is probably the single biggest um, technique uh, we, we can use um, to help build trust in ins institutions. If someone is collecting data, they need to tell the, the folks who, who that data is from that they're collecting the data. We, we need to know what data is being collected about us, uh, and we need to know what it's being used for. Um, uh, people don't like being surprised to learn later that some data was collected and, and used. Um, uh, they, they need to know up front. Um, and, and have the opportunity to object up front. And uh, the, these, these surprises later uh, lead to backlash. Um, uh, so I think this is, this is a, a key thing. We sort of, sort of gives us a, the, the leg to stand on. If um, you, can, you can trust institutions if you know what they're doing. Um, if they're being secretive, it's much harder uh, to build trust in them. Uh, another element um, uh, is, is establishing best practices, um, uh, industry by industry. And here is a, a place where I think technology can play a large role. Uh, we don't want to make it easy or tempting uh, for people to uh, uh, you know, uh, violate your trust. Um, uh, we, 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 want, we want to make it, uh, we want to put obstacles in place. Now the obstacles may not be totally you know, foolproof, um, but you'd have to work, or you should have to work um, uh, to, to, to violate policies. Um, and so things like you know, encryption, anonymization, Obfuscation, all these kind of things can really, um, uh, really help and need to be institutionalized. We need to, we need to just have standard ways. Um, we do this within organizations um, uh, and industry by industry. Um, uh, we need to also define the limits, um, uh, clear limits um, uh, that organizations are, are not permitted to cross. Um, uh, some, sometimes this is obvious. If you've given uh, somebody, you know, some some uh, personally identifiable information, your your address, your phone number, uh, whatever, your salary, um, uh, you you trust that they won't publish that, and, and that's easy to, to say uh, they shouldn't, and and there should be some consequence if they do. Um, other things are more are more subtle. Um, uh, you know, folks might do analyses um, uh, that correlate, um, uh, that end up correlating with with uh, racial patterning. Um, and, and so we need to be we need to be careful. Some of these times, sometimes these things only appear after the fact, um, and and the and the regulations uh, need to be reactive. We we can't anticipate um, uh, the sorts of abuse that'll happen. So we need to be watchful, um, and uh, and and when we see things, uh, speak up. Uh, and then, in order for any of this to work, um, in order for for transparency to be believed, um, in order for um, uh, best practices to be followed. Uh, we need some oversight. Um, uh, we, need, we need independent third parties who can verify uh, that if an organization says <clears throat> they're only collecting certain things, that they really are only collecting those things. They say they're using them in a certain way, that they're really only using them in that way. Uh, and this doesn't have to be government oversight. I think this can be uh, a voluntary uh, industry um, uh, oversight. There's, there's a lot of tradition of that in, in a variety of industries. Uh, the the um, stock markets, for example, are, um, uh, have, have an industry uh, organization called FINRA in the U.S. that, that um, uh, monitors them. Uh, lawyers and doctors ha have traditionally uh, self-regulated um, uh, with professional organizations. Uh, and I think we can come up with, with similar uh, kinds of institutions um, uh, in, in IT. And we need to. Um, uh, without this, uh, I don't think we can build the, the trust we need uh, to build the, the systems we need. Um, so, lastly, this is, this is not, you know, a, a, an effort that can be really tackled uh, country by country. Uh, many of the systems I, I'm, I'm talking about are things that, that span uh, national boundaries. Uh, so we need, to, we need to coordinate, we need to make sure um, that, that there are solutions that can work across the world. Uh, in, in Europe, um, uh, there's been a lot of talk recently about the right to be forgotten, um, uh, about the um, uh, Data Protection Act. Um, uh, and in the U.S., the FTC has been doing a lot of work. Um, so 
Um, I, I'm optimistic that these folks are working together. Um, uh, and, and I just want to close with, with saying that this is, this is something that we all need to think about. It's, it's our, our responsibility um, uh, to, to care about this. And I urge you to think about uh, what you can do in your organization uh, to, to make uh, the, the future one uh, that we want and not one that just happens to us. So thank you.